Hello, Chad Otterstrom, Academy Snowboards. Welcome to today's Monday video where I talk anything and everything snowboarding pertaining to Academy Snowboards, of course. Today I'm going to tell you how I set up my stance and my bindings on my Academy Graduate Series 155 2025. Go check it out on our website, academysnowboards.com. It's an awesome snowboard. I've been riding it forever. It is a directional twin, which means it's a twin shape with a directional profile. The camber profile is set back a little bit with a little early rise nose just to make it ride a little bit better forwards, but it'll still function really good backwards. The way I set my stance up is 22 inches with an inch and a half back, so it's a little bit more of a free ride stance, but still has some freestyle involved in it. In my opinion, there's six different styles of stances. This is a free, free ride stance. Um, there's rental stance, there's race stance, there's half pipe stance, slope style stance, jib stance, and then free ride stance. And the free ride stance I like to think of as being free. You can ride anything. Um, a lot of people think free riding is just riding forwards with a small tail. I think of the word free as everything and anything. So I'm going to show you how I set my bindings up. I got these Union Pro bindings. I ride Burton Cartels every once in a while too. But what I really, really like about these Union Pros is I can get that exact 22 inch stance. Um, I already know where it is, so I'm just going to put it on. Um, I do set it an inch and a half back, like I said, and these Union Pros are super easy to get on. You're going to need a screwdriver, not a small screwdriver like this, but a fat one. I always screw up and never have a good screwdriver, but my bindings never come loose, so I ain't even stressing. Um, anyways, so there are the six different stances. I'm going to do a deep dive in those stances later on in the winter. Um, you know, a super deep dive on that rental stance. You're going to have to watch a half hour video on how to set up a rental stance, which is technically twin and 15 negative 15. So you, the rental guy, um, most rental people don't know if you're regular goofies, they don't want you coming back. So anyways, uh, I won't be covering that one. So. Anyways, these bindings are great. I'll quit saying anyways. And I really like the gas pedal and I usually hate these gas pedals, but the ones with union are super easy to set up. Boom, done deal. Not gonna come loose, even with a small screwdriver. Um, but you do want a big one just to make sure if you're if you're not advanced in screwing down bolts on your snowboard. So this, for me to get that 22 inch stance, I go from the inside holes and then just one out. And then I take the bindings and I slide them all the way out. And what I like about when you slide all the bindings all the way out, they'll never push any farther out because they're already stuck there. Um, where if you put them in, if your bindings come a little loose, you're going to push out and your stance is going to change. So tech tip, make sure that your bindings holes are slid all the way out. Um, if you don't want to end up being like Sean White with a 27 inch stance. Apparently that's JJ's fault, what I heard. I don't know. I don't know. Sean blaming it on him. But either way, it is what it is. So this is it, gas pedal. Look at how quick that is. And my angles, I, I vary in my back foot between negative six and negative nine, uh, negative six more if I'm just cruising a lot. If I'm just gonna ride a lot of freestyle, a lot of jumps, I'm gonna go negative nine, but I'm gonna just try to stick with negative six just because I like riding forwards a lot more these days. So. And that is it, the, the bindings are done. These are all hand adjusted. You don't need screwdrivers except for these things. Um, I do recommend getting Loctite and after you get your bindings dialed, Go back and re-Loctite every single screw on your bindings, and then you should be good for the season. Because um, no matter how good bindings are, screws do come loose. And there's one tech tip that I want to give you guys, which is an awesome tip before I end this video, and that is to adjust your high back to the back edge of your uh, board. Duh. <laughs> And to do that, you have to unscrew these. So make sure you don't lose any screws. Be really, really patient with what you're doing. Because if you drop a screw down in like the heater down there, uh, it's gonna be lost forever and you don't wanna do that. So you gotta be very careful. The one thing good about these small screwdrivers is you can pop the screws out a little easier. But I like to do that and I like to angle. So there, it starts out like your angle, your binding is angled like this. So if you drive forward into a turn, there's no forward lean there to, to to leverage into it. But, so if you angle your high back like that, when you drive into that turn, you always wanna ride with your weight forward anyways. You're driving into that turn, you're driving into your high back. So, tech tip right there. And uh, you, there's these two holes that you gotta kinda just switch on these bindings and that will make it so you can 
angle the high back with the back edge. This is a Dave Downing tip back in like 1993. What I do like about these vinings too is those screws are not going to fall anywhere on that one. They will fall out of your high back though, so be careful. Because it's stressful. If you're out in the middle of nowhere on a powder day and you lose screws in your bindings, not a cool scenario. As far as cool scenarios go, scenarios go, that's not one of them. So, Like I said, Academy Snowboards, I'm going to pitch you, sell you all day long in these videos because that's why I'm here. And that's why I snowboard. And I've been riding this board forever. This is a board we make them at Never Summer in Denver. And what I like about their boards is the durability. It's going to ride the same at the end of the year as it did at the beginning. Let me focus on getting the screw in. Got it in. All right, I'm focused. But yeah, what I like about our Never Summer boards is they're, they're, they're slightly damp, but they're just crispy enough to get up on the picnic tables, which is what I need to do. Um, but the, it's gonna have that smooth, damp ride, which no other boards in the world have. All right. Bam, nailed it. Uh, and they don't flex out. Like you get a board with like ABS sidewalls or whatever it is. Well, that's what it is. It's going to flex out on you like a month. And that's not that fun when your board flexes out on you a month. This board is going to ride the same at the end of the year as it did at the beginning. There's a, there is like a 10% break-in period. But once you do that 10% break-in, it doesn't change, which is huge for progression and snowboarding. Because if you're going up on the hill and your, your board changes all the time, you're not going to be feeling consistent and consistency is key and getting better at snowboarding and enjoying your day. Cause I don't mind changing things up, but as long as I, you know, kind of have a little bit of control anyways, I did that. And I like to, to adjust these back high backs to a number two. Uh, I used to ride Burton sky backs and I always had those on number two and boots, bindings, everything breaks in. So as they break in, and the high backs are going to feel like less and less forward lean, so you kind of got to crank it up a little bit more throughout the season because no matter what, your boots are going to break in. That's just a softer material. But these are, uh, there's no cushion on here, so these are not going to break in that much, which is really awesome. It's going to be a consistent binding all year. And what I really like about these bindings, and the most important part before I end this video, is they look really cool on this snowboard. So it's very important to look cool when you're on the hill, when you're in the lift line, you know, getting to know people. If you don't look cool, then you're just going to kind of get pushed to the side. So, you know, number one in snowboarding, looking cool. Number two is function. And number three is maybe have a good time. No, I think it's the opposite. But anyways, enjoy the show. I hope you enjoyed the show and we will see you next Monday.